Hello, I'm IBX Toyka, and today I'm going to be showing you all of the texture packs that will be in Minecraft Xbox One as soon as the game comes out. If you're wondering how I know all of this, uh, basically Mojang had a post on their blog saying that all of the DLC from the Xbox 60 would transfer to the Xbox One, and all of the DLC from the PS3 would transfer to the PS4, except for some which is trapped in licensing agreements. So that means stuff like the Marvel skin pack, and uh, potentially the uh, you know the Halo mashup pack or the Skyrim mashup pack. Uh, however, stuff that won't be affected by that are the texture packs, because the texture packs were created by the 4J art team themselves, so there's no license needed, they literally made them themselves. Uh, so as soon as the DLC is transferred over, which I think is going to be day one, all of these text packs will be on the Xbox One. Uh, so I'm going to show you it on the Xbox 60, it's my Let's Play world, so you can see a whole bunch of different things, um, and then you'll be able to get a, uh, you know, gist of what each text pack does, which ones you might want to buy. Uh, if you own these on Xbox 60, you do not need to buy them again, but if you don't, then that's how it's going to work. So uh, without further ado, let's show you the text pack. So this is vanilla text pack. Uh, it counts as a text pack in-game, but really this is what happens when you don't pay for text packs or you don't put on a text pack. Uh, it's just the Minecraft look you know and love, and I'm sure you're very familiar with it. Um, it's just Minecraft default, um, but however, there are more than this. Uh, if Every other text pack costs one dollar, and the first one that you might want to look at is called the Plastic Texture Pack. So this is the Plastic Texture Pack. It's a way of turning Minecraft into an even more light-hearted game, if you didn't think that's possible. Uh, it basically makes everything very, you know, just... Uh, very single colored and uh, plasticky and just very uh, block textures. It's very, very amusing and lighthearted and it makes for some pretty interesting Minecraft worlds because everything just looks, as I said, it's just it's just kind of lighthearted and brilliant. Uh, so some of the upsides of this text pack are uh, the fact that everything is, uh, you know, very simple to understand. You look at the grass, you know it's grass. It's just a simple plain, plain ta flat texture. Uh, the wood is very, very simple. The Everything is just, it looks kind of the same as in Minecraft Default, but it just has this very simple, simple feel to it. And it's a very nice feeling texture pack, to say the least. Um, also, if you're going for something a little more realistic, this might not be the one for you. Uh, but if you look around, everything just looks pretty much the same, just with a really nice flair. So if you want an uh, even more light-hearted flair to Minecraft, this is probably the texture pack for you. Uh, also, in addition to just the textures, you can notice my hotbar at the bottom here. Uh, it's very slightly different, it's different coloured. The, uh, the box itself here is different. My little cursor is just a little orange start and finally when you press start the menu is slightly different colors but these are the things the text pack changes i think this is a pretty good text pack uh it's probably worth the buy even if you use it only every now and then uh but next let's show you the natural text pack which so this is the natural texture pack. It is a very more serious um, texture pack as opposed to the plastic one, which is a lot more lighthearted. This makes everything a lot more, you know, just kind of realistic looking. That's the kind of aim of it. And uh, it's a very, very cool texture pack for a lot of cool things. Uh, mainly the, like, nature stuff out also. Um, as you can see, like, you look at the nature, it's all very, very nicely done. You look at these melons, they're just uh, kind of brilliant. Um, it, it definitely excels when it comes to nature. Uh, so for buildings, it can ruin some buildings a little bit, although for the most part, if you look, uh, that's my big stone tower. It's It looks a lot nicer now. If you look at my stone brick house, it looks a lot nicer than the plastic texture pack. Um, if you're going for just, you know, kind of artistic design, this really, really uh, does the job quite well. Look at the dirt texture. They made dirt look, like, really artsy. Um, and that's something that's really great about this texture pack. Um, makes a lot of things look a lot more serious and uh, if you want to go for the kind of artistic build like I said it just it kind of excels with that so um this is uh, kind of the opposite of the plastic text pack like, and uh, what I'd say is if you want lighthearted, go for that. If you want a little bit more serious, go for this. Uh, but otherwise, there are a few more text packs if neither of those things really appeal to you. So uh, next we'll be showing you the fantasy texture pack. Okay, so this is the fantasy texture pack and uh, it's kind of similar to the uh, natural texture pack you might notice. It's got a lot of the same vibe, like these stone slabs look very similar. Uh, but something I really like about this that the natural texture pack doesn't have is it makes a lot of things, instead of just making them look more serious, it gives them this really cool medieval look which means uh, if you look at an MC village for instance you can see that just um, the churches for instance they just look really medieval and it gives it a whole different theme to everything so you can make really cool themed worlds of this um, on top of that the UI and stuff I really like it on this uh, text pack a lot better like I just look you've got little things in the corner here in addition to that, uh, the crosshair in the middle is a little odd. I, I don't personally like it that much, but it's still something you might like. Uh, by the way, this is a piston ladder. Uh, sorry, a uh, minecart ladder. It's a uh, really cool way of going up things. But yeah, besides uh, the fact of that, you know, all these blocks, uh, the view eye looks like this. It's in general just a pretty nice looking text pack. Gives everything this really cool theme. Like, look at look at this glass. It's it's gold around the edges. Um, 
I I personally prefer this a lot to the natural texture pack if that's the thing you want. But if you just want, you know, a serious texture pack without all the cool uh, themed stuff, if, you know, that's what you're into or whatever, this is the one for you. So just quickly show you the start menu, this is it. As you can see, uh, very nicely done start menu. Uh, it seems like a natural texture pack plus plus to me, but that's my opinion. Uh, next, we'll be showing you the uh, city text pack, because uh, that's the one that's meant for builders, supposedly. And uh, we'll see if it actually fits the job, so we'll just send this minecart back. Uh, so yeah, let's show you the city text pack. Okay, so this is the city texture pack, and the basic gist of this one is that you can, uh, you know, build things in creative and have a really, you know, cool cities and stuff done out of it. And it gives you a lot of block variety. So if you look, everything's, you know, kind of different. Like, you look at the spruce and the uh, birch wood, they're very, very orange. Like, there's a lot of contrast. The lava looks different. And uh, it basically, the idea is if you only play in creative, this is a very, very good text pack for you because it gives you a whole bunch of building options and... It's just, in general, I think it's a very good uh, text pack for creative. Uh, however, if you're playing survival, this isn't really one you're probably going to like. Um, like, uh, maybe it is one you like, but if you just look around, it's not really a great look for survival. Um, again, that's a, a personal preference thing, uh, so you might find this great, but... I definitely personally think this is only really meant for creative because in survival it just doesn't really fill a niche. Like I, there's there's no point where I think this is better than the fancy texture pack or the plastic texture pack. And uh, if you want to collect them all, maybe you get this. But really, you're not going to be using this one in survival that much unless you have friends that use it. Uh, it, it gets it it ties on you uh, very very quickly, and you know it's it's got its cool moments, but. Not the greatest text pack in the world. Um, so next we'll be showing you the final text pack that we know will be transferred over. And that is going to be the Candyland text pack. And that's a little bit for wild cards. Let's show you that one now. Okay, so finally we have the Candyland texture pack. And this texture pack is probably the most oddball and wild card out of them all. It's just, it's meant to make everything look like it's various forms of candy. So uh, as you can see, everything just randomly changed from dirt and stone uh, to chocolate and uh, biscuits, cake. Um... Everything is a, a different type of candy, and it's a very, very interesting uh, text pack. So as you can see, there's some rocky road down there. Uh, and it's it's probably a really cool text pack if you don't want your things... Look, this is this is Battenberg cake. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool text pack if you don't care about having your previous worlds look, you know, like something you want them to. If you just want a, you know, crazy fun time of a new world uh, that looks entirely different, this is definitely one for you. I recommend this one, but a lot of people don't like it because it's a, it doesn't have a lot of things people like in Minecraft. Like, um, you know, like, you can't do cool builds of it, really. Um, I guess you could, but they'd have to be candy-themed builds because, of course, everything's made out of candy. And uh, if you just look around... Uh, it's 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 different. It's different, and that's uh, to say the very least. So this is uh, the one I'd recommend if you want something that completely changes your Minecraft experience uh, and gives you a really fun time in a new world because everything is just completely different. You have no idea what's going on. Um, if you want a you know texture pack to modify your existing world, I'd say even the natural fantasy or uh, plastic texture pack, depending on your needs. And if you just want a you know texture pack to give you a whole bunch of new build ideas for creative, I'd say the building texture pack is the one for you. So um. Let's quickly show the giant cobblestone cube. Uh, and this, in this uh, map, uh, sorry, text pack, this is the giant rocky road cube. Uh, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, I hope it taught you some stuff about Minecraft Xbox One. Um, whichever text pack you do buy, or if you buy all of them, uh, they're definitely all a fun time, and it's a nice little way to extend your gameplay by a little bit. Um, if you want more text packs than this, you can buy mashup packs, which are double as expensive and come with a whole bunch of other things. Um, and I've done a video on those, so you could check that out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed my review of all the text packs. Uh, like it if you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you some other time.